Hi, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Sex and Happiness, a show about your sex and your happiness and ours. I'm Laurie Handlers. And I'm Michael Gibson. And today we're going to talk about a subject that we don't think gets covered enough, and that is self-love. Self so you have some thoughts about that? I do. Self-love is one of those things that... Um, that I feel is necessary if you're going to love a partner or you're going to love anybody, you really kind of have to start with loving yourself and in adequate numbers and the kind of love that you need. So um, these are important parts of uh, being an extraordinary lover, in my opinion. And again, it starts with self-love. Well, I believe that you can't possibly love another unless you love yourself, unless you... Thank you. <laughs> Unless you have a big well of love to give because you already love yourself, then I think you're merely trying to fill some holes by attracting another person and hoping that they'll fill what's inadequate or what's missing in you. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that works. And I kind of know from having tried. <laughs> Personal experience. Personal there, yeah. experience. I think it's really important to love self. Yeah. So how do we go about doing that? So many ways. Well, there are so many ways. And one of the things that we talk about, and, and I love the work that um, was done, was the five love languages, right? Those five love languages talk about how we receive love um, from other people. And one of the things that we do is we challenge you to look at how do these five love languages show up when you're loving yourself? Different. So it's, it's not Different. always the same, right? right. So um, where you and I, my love language is quality time and um, words of affirmation. And my love language is quality time and physical touch. Mm. So that means, and I like doing that with myself. Yeah. And you like doing quality time with yourself. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you give yourself enough words of affirmation. I don't. I don't give myself words of affirmation. The other thing that I find to be um, more along the lines of what it is that shows my self-love is when I give myself gifts. Uh, so gifts are something that I give myself, which is a different cut at the love languages. Let's say what the five love languages are. Well, We've first, mentioned them already. Right. Words of affirmation. Words of affirmation. Quality time. Gifts. Gifts, acts of service. And physical touch. And physical touch. And so there's a quiz that you can take. You can go to Five Love Languages or lovelanguages.com, whatever. Mm -hmm. And you can give yourself a, a quiz to find out what your love languages are when you're relating to another. But Michael and I often ask people how we use those when relating to ourselves. That's right. It's really important. So let's just say that we both share quality time. And what do we do in our quality time? I am getting back into doing art. Mm -hmm. I definitely write. My eyes haven't been so good recently, so I haven't been doing a lot of reading. But I, I'm getting back into making art. And Michael wants me to show you something that I made in the 70s. This was, my, it's framed. This was my holiday greeting card in the mid 70s. I made a self-portrait, cartoon kind of drawing, and then I wrote a poem about my overflowing gratitude and my overflowing love for people. And I sent it out to about, I don't know, something like 500 people. So you did this in the 70s. I did. This is really well, good. Well, look at my hair. I do, I don't, <laughs> my hair is sticking up now. <laughs> now my hair part. over here is like a big, big curly hair. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So well, now Michael has taken it. And he's done things with it. So here's a new rendition of the same yeah. drawing. And he's creating well, something from it. Well, you want to talk hard. about it's it? It's kind of hard for them to see it. Oh, it is? Because it goes out of focus when you put it up so close. Oh. But this is it. And you can oh, kind of did tell. Oh, did I do a bad job? No, no, no. Okay. No, no it's just that the focus doesn't auto-focus. So oh. this is what it looks like when you put it in Photoshop and you play around with it a little bit. And uh, this was a lot of fun for me. So I was able to change the background and put some color in. And um, Oh, he made it in a variety of colors. He changed mm -hmm. the body, the lips, the hair color, and the background color. Mm -hmm. And he wants to do something new with it. What is that? Well, there's something that uh, has been sweeping the world, really, called NFTs, non-fungible tokens. 
And I saw that and I thought, what a beautiful gift to be able to give to somebody um, is one of Lori's drawings that has all kinds of different colors and is unique. And so I just put together some different colors. Like Lori said, I changed the lipstick, I changed the hair, changed the, the body color in the background, and um, it looks amazing. And I came up with something like 650 uh, combinations of all those things. And um, So that's his artwork. So that's my artwork in support of your artwork, and we're going to put it online and, and offer it as an NFT. Great. And if you don't know about what that is, tune in to the next show. Stay tuned. Or the show <laughs> after. Right. The other thing that I'm doing lately is I'm working with watercolors. Mm -hmm. And um, is this good? Yep, that's good. Is this good. in focus? Yeah, so this is going to be a post on Instagram, but I haven't done the lettering yet. Yep. It's going to be about our Honduras luxury retreat, um, our Extraordinary Lovers luxury retreat. So this looks like Honduras to me. It's gorgeous, yeah. I'm excited about that. So I started drawing again. We mm. were recently at a workshop where... Um, one of the parts of myself told another part of myself that I wasn't really doing any artwork because when I was younger, I used to do all kinds of crafts mm -hmm. and artwork. I used to sculpt. I used to do needlework. I, and, and I used to sew. Now I design clothes. So if you don't know that about me, um, I design clothes. That's another artistic... I love fashion. So that's another artistic expression of me is to design clothes. So I design sarongs. Mm -hmm. Maybe in another show I'll show the sarongs and we'll have them in a place where you can order them online. And um, I've done pottery mm -hmm. and so painting. I've done beadwork. So now this, these, this new drawing thing is just like piquing my curiosity. I'm just starting to get my hands into it. Well, and so one of the questions that I think I have for those of you who are listening and watching is what are some of the things that you find yourself not doing here in life lately that um, gave you so much joy maybe in the past or something you can think of that gives you joy now or that you haven't done much of in the recent past that you would like to get back into like drawing like doing watercolors um, like you know, beadwork yeah yeah or um, gardening or any of those things cooking baking mm. Those are creative outlets Playing an too. Yes, all of those things. That's a way to show yourself love. Um, it does a couple of things. One thing it does is it allows you to create some mastery over something that you find uh, as fun and as maybe a hobby. I love. Uh, I love one of my favorite podcasters. His name is Lex Friedman, and Lex is a master guitarist. And I didn't know that until he showed a couple of his videos. And he just tools around and plays guitar. And I think that's so amazing. Um, so what is it that you do? What do you do in the, in the meantime or you know, in between time um, when you're having fun or you just want, you have nothing going on? Um, some people play video games. Uh, there's lots of different things that you could do. I stay in the sun. I like sun, the sun. I like to go to the gym. I work out regularly. And I also like to take hot baths. I yeah. love taking baths, but I don't really like hot tubs. It's no. funny. Well, no. hot, hot tubs have too much chemicals in them. I yeah, think. that's. Yeah. I don't like hot tubs, but I love mm -hmm. taking a hot bath. So that's some of the things for me. Now, the other thing about self love, um, you know, it's like for yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, let's just define it. It's doing something for yourself that doesn't require necessarily an audience and isn't an act to somebody else. Many of us express love to others to our friends to our family to our partners and we're like unabashed about it but um in terms of ourselves mm. i don't know about that you know i became a really good cook during covid yeah you did i did yeah. i learned how to really make great chicken i made chicken soup mm -hmm. i uh i experimented with recipes that i normally don't have time for right and I, I started to feel, this week I made four quiches. Yeah. And um, and you're great with salmon. Yeah, I am. I'm really good with fish. Yeah. So all of a sudden I became um, literate <laughs> <laughs> in a way that I haven't considered myself to be literate before. Mm. And it really felt good. Yeah. yeah. Well, it tasted good too. Yeah. 
<laughs> so I want to show, I just want to show, I want to hold up this one thing. I'm not going to talk about this right now. I'm actually going to do a whole video on it, but this is what I used to do. This is a collage. I think it's like too big to even get into the screen. But um, I used to collage in the 90s. I used to cut out lots of pictures from magazines, and I did collages about how I was feeling. Mm -hmm. And um, I was surprised. I found the collages last week, and I was surprised to find that I, you know, some people think that I came like this, that I arrived on the planet being totally self-sufficient and secure, and uh, that I never had bad feelings, oh. and that I wasn't a victim. Yeah. And, you know, the truth is that I grew through all those stages just like everybody else. So I found about 10 collages that I made where I was really feeling like people were against me and that I was a victim, etc. And the one I just flashed up for you was something I called New Reality. And I created a new reality for myself in the 90s through two collages. And when I found the collages last week, I was thrilled to find out that I'm actually living the new reality that I created then. Mm. So that's what's possible when you do artwork, and it doesn't matter if you can't pick up a paintbrush and paint. Like you could, you literally could cut things out and paste them on paper and create from that. That's amazing. It yeah. does something in your psyche, doesn't it? It actually sets your mind up to think about the things that you want um, or the things that maybe sets up a little bit of a cognitive dissonance where you're looking at something that's not your reality right now, but that you really do want, and then being able to look at something like that can set you up to win. And you know, it's funny because this show is Sex and Happiness, and I've written mm. the book Sex and Happiness, The Tantric Laws of Intimacy, the bestseller book on Amazon, and now I'm writing another book. Well, I'm done with it. It's going to start getting published soon. Sex and Happiness, over 60, it only gets better. And mm. But when I looked back at the old collages, and I, as I say, I'm going to go into this in detail in a whole nother in a whole nother episode, but I, in the collages, I said that I wasn't sexy enough. Mm -hmm. I was too businessy. And I also said that my room, my bedroom wasn't romantic enough, didn't look sexy. And if you were to see, you, first of all, you know me, you've been listening to Sex and Happiness for a long time. You know that I, sex is in my life and that I'm sexy. Mm -hmm. Also, my room looks like a goddess temple. And those are the things that I created on those, um, on on those collage vision boards in the '90s, and now I live it. That's right. So, well, sex and happiness, I guess, got born in the '90s, but I didn't even know it. I've got a confession to make. What? When I when I was invited over for the very first time to visit here, yeah, and to see your space and to see your room, yeah, I was blown away. It really? Is, yeah, it is a goddess temple. It is absolutely amazing. Maybe we'll put some pictures up uh, later on. But no, maybe we'll take them on a tour. Well, we could do that. We could take people on a tour of our house on our on our podcast. Why not? Yeah, we could. You were blown away by my house? I was. All of the art, the way that it's set up. I mean, what you see behind us, this is Lori's house. And so, but when I got to your room, this was a place that we were going to make love. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and it was hot. I walked in there and I went, Wow, beautiful bed with posters or, or full po four four poster posts, bed yeah. with a beautiful back uh, uh, headboard. And then in front of it is this amazing, looks like a, a slide, but it's called a Tantra chair. And yeah, it's, it's red. red. <laughs> and it's studded, you know. It's, and it's on red carpeting. And it's, it's on red carpeting. I have red carpeting. And then right above it, she's got this beautiful... Um, oh, we have to show it to you. Uh, we'll take. We'll, we'll, we'll take have a tour. to take you on a tour. Yeah. But that all comes from a collage that I made in the '90s, where I said that nothing about my life was sexy enough. I was definitely a businesswoman. I was in corporate America, mm -hmm. and I was focusing on the masculine aspects of my life. Yeah. And I wasn't focusing on the feminine aspects of my life. Even though, like, my bed then pretty much rocked. Like I had a mosquito, I had mosquito netting over my bed. I had a skylight, and I had red little fairy lights in the mosquito netting, so mm -hmm. it looked like pink cotton candy. Oh, wow. It's really beautiful, but it's nothing like what I have now. Yeah. So, self love. I was impressed. Thank you. You're welcome. You never told me that. Well, I'm telling you now. Ah, so self love 
requires looking in all aspects of your life and saying, how do I love myself in this aspect of my life? Mm -hmm. How do I love myself in this aspect of my life? How do I want someone else to love me and am I willing to give that to myself? That's the bottom line. Uh, ding. So that's what we're invoking in you today. How can you love yourself better? Mm -hmm. How can you really give yourself the love that you are hoping that someone comes into your life and gives you? If you're starving, you're mm -hmm. starving yourself. And yeah. we, we don't want you to do that. So be creative. And I think that's probably the most important part is that when you're loving yourself, be creative in all the ways that you could, whether it's through touch, whether it's through uh, accessing your genius, maybe it's writing, maybe it's reading, mm -hmm. um, maybe it's art. Maybe it's it the way you dress yourself also, mm -hmm. you know, like that's, although that's too easy for people to get lost in fashion <laughs> and forget about themselves, like just mm -hmm. buying stuff. I'm talking about like really luxuriate every area. Yeah. And, and you and I believe that if it's not in your calendar, it doesn't exist. Right. So you got to put it in your calendar. You have to schedule these things for your life in order for it to come to true, come to, to be. Um, let me say that again. You have to schedule it in your life in order for it to come to be. Yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. It's like declaration. I declare this and so it is. Mm. Yeah. I love it. All right, so before we leave them, what do we want to tell them about? We want, us, we want to remind you about our luxury retreat in Honduras. That's coming up, yeah. March 9th to the 15th for couples and mm -hmm. singles who don't want to make the same mistake they made before getting into another coupling. Yeah. And you can find out about that at... Honduras.extraordinarylovers.com and we also wanted to tell you about our affiliation with Go Love mm. Lubrication, which we talked about in the last show. Go Love is a lube that is made and manufactured with CBD, which makes everything feel good, really, really good. Mm. And our affiliate code with, for that is... Sex and Happiness. Just go to uh, golovecbd.com. And put in the keyword sex and happiness. And you and you'll get a ten percent discount. Please join us next time. I, I have a feeling that in our next show we're gonna take you on a tour of this house. So you can see how much art I have on the walls. <laughs> and you can also I mean I like to don't get me started in a whole nother <laughs> rant. I can't imagine go, living in a house with white walls. Right. I can't. Yeah. I have tons of art. And to me, yeah. that stimulates me. That makes me feel good. So anyway, maybe we'll make a tour. So tune in next time to Sex and Happiness when I will be here and Michael will be here and we will be thrilled to see you. Bye for now. Bye-bye.